fun. All right. Welcome, everyone, to College Admission Secrets. I'm so excited to have you here today. Right now, we have, oh, my gosh, we are almost hitting the 200 mark, Coach Tony. Almost We're almost 200. there. Almost there. But today, we have an exciting, exciting topic. Um, Coach Tony and I were kind of thinking, we're saying, hey, what are we going to do? And a lot of people were asking about activities. And so we thought, you know what? Let's do the perfect high school activity resume profiles. So what over the next 60 minutes, what are we going to cover? We are going to share a couple of things. First of all, we're going to talk about how to create a standout activity resume. So many students keep asking, what do I need to do? What kind of things do I need to make in a college? So we're going to go through that. The next thing is, we're going to align those activities with certain intended majors, which a lot of people think, do I need to do that? So we're going to answer that question. We're also going to ensure college admission success. Okay, we're going to talk about that. And of course, as we always do with these calls, we have a big announcement at the end. Uh, and I know Coach Tony always loves to reveal and we like to reveal certain big things at the end. So we're going to have a big announcement as well as if you stick around and hopefully we have enough time, we're going to answer some questions live. So as you know, a training is not is, is always going to be really good when you have both of us here because typically we have one or the other, but you have Coach Art and Coach Tony today on the line. So for those who it is our first time meeting, I want to introduce myself. My name is Coach Art. I'm with College Admission Secrets, been around for about four years of College Admission Secrets, but been around in the game with College Admissions for about eight years. But my biggest claim to fame is my three boys. Um, I'm so very proud of them. My oldest uh, graduated last year from um, uh, University of Berkeley, okay, uh, Berkeley, uh, Cal, uh, with a mechanical engineering degree. Uh, my middle son is going to pursue his pre-med bio degree in the University of Illinois in Chicago. And my youngest is going to be uh, going in the fall to Biola University. He's going to be a soccer player as well as he's going to pursue physical therapy. But as well as I place hundreds of students uh, at uh, schools across the nation, and I'm just, uh, they call me the student whisperer just because I love to talk to students and really dig deep. So you can hear that dig deep and find out uh, what they're all about and to get them the most successful application. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to my partner in crime here, Coach Tony. Thank you. Thank Take you, it away, sir. Tony. For those who don't know me, my name is Coach Tony, I actually was a former UC Berkeley admissions reader. That meant I was one of the people who actually read actual applications, said yes to a few, said no to a lot more. And kind of doing that, I read over 20,000 applications. You just start to understand what the yes kids have in common, what the no students kind of have in common. So pretty much every single week here and inside of our coaching programs, we teach our students to do the right things, right? Do what you need to do, the yes things as well, and kind of avoid all the no things. A lot of things we'll be talking about today, activities, right? A lot of people are like, oh, my child's doing a lot. Are you doing a lot of the right things? Are you doing a lot of the wrong things? And I think that's the, the difference between a successful student and not successful students as well, too. Again, that was just our bios, but if you don't trust us as well, too, here are some of our success stories that we've had over these past few years. You can kind of see tons of amazing students, at engineer, uh, Berkeley, LA, uh, Berkeley again, USC over here, got BSMD program, UCLA, uh, in the middle, Caltech, literally the only school hard to get into than the Ivies, Caltech, right? top 20 college uh, left. We helped us with fun money as well, too. The student got $50,000 in free money. Tons and tons of success stories as well. Our mission here at College Mission Secrets, our goal is to level the playing field, to make college accessible to as many people as you can. So if it's your very first call with us or your 50th call with us, you see in these trains, uh, especially with Coach R and I, when we come together, we hold literally nothing back. And really quick, just to check who is it their first call? If it's your first call, drop a one in the chat. If it's your very first mm. time tuning in, drop a one in the chat. If you're one of our veterans, you can oh drop Oh my a two. gosh, let's if see. If you're a let's veteran, see. you can drop a number two in the chat as well. So we got lots of new, we got lots of new folks. Yes. As well. And some of our veterans, I see a lot of familiar names in the chat. I love it. I love it. I love it. Awesome. So 
right? Uh, because we've learned that because if we hold nothing back, two things usually happen. Number one, we're able to help families get what you guys need to help your families out. And number two, families who do want to work with us, they invest, make the investment. You guys know our team. You guys know what we stand for. You know what we do and how we do it there and at a fraction of what other college admissions companies charge as well. Because our North Star isn't how much money we make, but rather it's how many successful college admission stories we can create. It's about seeing the smiles that our students when they announce that they get into their top dream colleges. It's about the messages we get from proud mothers and fathers. And the more success stories we create, the more money we can reinvest back into our program, make it better and better. That's pretty much what we do. So if you're ready to get started with this training, again, little teaser, Coach Art, we're going fast, by the way. Yes, we are. Have, there's 200 slides. <laughs> 200 slides. We only have 50 minutes left. So we are going to talk fast. So for okay. everyone, you got to listen really, really fast as well, too. All right, Coach Art, you go ahead and kick off this training. All right, here we go. How to create, okay? How to create, oops, here we go. Okay. So how do you create a standout activity resume? First of all, colleges are looking for three things. We always talk about this all the time in our many trainings. Uh, the first one is uh, the passion, commitment, and leadership. Okay, so passion, commitment, leadership. But we're going to focus on only two things here, passion and commitment. What that means that we're talking about is let's start with passion. And I want to talk to you in real time and real talk. So first of all, with respect to that, and 99% of our students have no clue about what they're passionate about. Every time we ask them, like, I don't know. And it's because they really never thought about it. So we tell our students to think about this as what is their interests? What are the things that when they wake up in the morning, they say, my gosh, I really love to do this kind of stuff, right? But Coach Art, what if my child has no interest? <laughs> and we normally say, does your child stare at the wall every day when they come home from school and they do nothing? They literally look at the wall and do and say nothing and do nothing. I don't think so. Okay. I, I would be very concerned if they did that. They do a lot of things. And so odds are they probably are doing something that's driven by their interests. They just don't really know that it's an interest. Okay. So the answer in the chat, I want to ask you, how many of your students I guess that's play video games, okay? <laughs> or they also pay for video games as well. But <laughs> how many play video? If you can just put in the chat, okay? Put uh, yes with my, just, okay, video games, yes. I, or if you are, okay, they, it's going berserk. Yes, 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 all the way down. Everybody plays video games, okay? So let's take a look at that. Do you know that esports is a $1.4 billion industry, okay? That is massive. And so, did you know that 170 universities across the country have esports teams? So, how is that relevant? Well, do you know specifically for UCI that they pay for their esports team $6,000 per year for individuals to play on their team? So, what does that mean? Are we saying that we advocate for your child to play video games all day? Absolutely not. But unless your student is ranked, is a ranked uh, esports player, that's a legitimate interest. That's a legitimate passion of theirs. And so what this does is it demonstrates interests um, and they can come in various different forms. So I'm going to relay it over to my court and try Tony to kind of further and talk about that. For sure. Awesome. So here's another fun question in the chat. Again, if those are new, again, we're very interactive. You're not just going to listen to us talk. Go ahead and contribute also in the chat. Is it okay for someone to like apples and bananas? Jump in the chat. Yes or no. If, is it okay for someone to like apples and bananas, right? All right. We are cool on apples and bananas. One, one hater of apples and bananas, but everyone else <laughs> says yes. Is it okay if we, if someone likes apples, bananas, and oranges? Right? Is it okay for someone to like apples, bananas, and oranges? Right, that's the that's the, the and and again one 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 person with the haterade, right? <laughs> All the fruits, right? The reason why it's a silly question, but here's the thing: your in the same regard, your child will have different interests as well too, and that is a good thing. So everyone always asks us a lot, like, "Hey, Coach Tony, how does my child stand out 
in the admissions process, we can tell you how you don't stand out is you do the same things as every other person, right? So here's the example for me, right? So how many college admissions people do you know? I bet you guys know quite a few, right? Maybe not a lot, but quite a few people who do this type of work. Maybe you're a counselor at school, you know a few people there, right? However, how many college people you know that has a mohawk as well too? That list probably went down. I actually know a few. Uh, during going, me, me and Coach Art go to conferences. We know a few people who actually have Mohawks as well too. It's actually pretty cool. However, how many people with the co college admissions with a Mohawk who likes pro wrestling? For those who know this, SummerSlam is upcoming weekend, right? Um, you know I'm watching that, right? As well too, right? So there, there's that event there, right? Now we get a little more granular. Who, how many college admissions people you know with the Mohawk who likes WWE and plays with Pokemon cards? You guys know I have a Pokemon collection behind me as well, too. I collect all the cards as well, too. Is that this is how you create your high school activities resume. Your first step is to identify what does your child like? What is their interest? Right. So can I give you some examples of this in the chat? Is it okay if I can give you some examples? For some of you like, I'm not sure what it is. Can I give you some examples of that? Go ahead and drop a yes in the chat. That's okay to give you some examples of what activities our interests can look like. Awesome. Fantastic. People are excited for the examples. Right. Number one, astronomy. Right. Some of you guys like taking maybe some astronomy classes, some schools on office, maybe outside. Right. Maybe photography. Maybe your child likes to take pictures as well. Too. Nowadays, our smartphones are really, really powerful cameras as well. Too. Maybe they take photography with their phones as well. Robotics. We know a lot of our students love robotics and doing building things and competing as well, too. Right. Debate. Another big popular thing. A lot of high school students love to do as well. Sports. Our athletes, our athletic students, right, on the individual sports or even team sports as well. You know what? I was talking to Coach R again. Like, like I mentioned, we are double trouble every time we come here. Our team gets mad at us <laughs> for giving too much stuff away. Is yeah. it okay if I give you guys a list of 100 interests, 100 activities that you can start thinking about? I was like, hey, maybe, maybe let's go through this list and see what things my child. If that's okay, you can drop a, the word list in the chat. If that's okay with you guys, I can give you guys a, a list. Here's like a preview. You guys can get a little preview of that. Just drop a list, L-I-S-T, in the chat. And we'll go ahead and grab it to you guys uh, at the end of this call as well, too, right? People people like the list. People like that as well, too. Yeah, <laughs> really, really awesome stuff. Right, Coach Art? All right. So, you know what? Uh, let's now, we talked about, you know, the interest. Let's start uh, with co commitment, Okay. And with commitment, let's do some quick public math together. Now, I'm going to tell you, Coach Tony is the, is the expert on math. He was almost like, I think he was going to be a math teacher, but I am not. So let's, let's, but let's do some simple math here. First of all, in any given week, our students have 24 hours, seven days a week. That's a total of 168 hours within a, a one week. Okay. Now, if we assume that your child sleeps eight hours, which most of them don't, but let's just say they do because they should to you know, make sure they get grow, they grow well. Eight hours times seven days is equal to 56 hours. So you subtract that by the total of 168, you get 112 remaining. Let's take that 112. Now, during the school year, your child spends about 30 hours in school, okay? Approximately about 30 hours, you know, class and so forth. So let's just subtract that. That's 82 remaining hours. Let's say they do homework, which hopefully they do, about two to three hours a night. Let's go the high side. Three hours times five is equal to 15 hours. So now we subtract 82 and 15. You have 67 remaining hours. Then let's give our students me time. Time to, let's say, talk to their friends and, and scroll social media or so. And let's take a hundred, one and a half hours per day, seven days a week, 10 and a half. So that we're talking about now 56 and a half remaining hours left of their day. Okay. Now let's take two hours each day for dinner, restroom and all that. So let's say that's seven days, uh, two hours, 14 hours. You have 42.5 remaining hours left to do with what? So your child approximately has about 40 hours of unallocated time every week. So when we talk about students, and we say uh, about doing 5, 10, 15 hours a week of activities. And what's going to happen is 
is that the universities are going to look at this and they're going to say, well, if you have 40 hours available and you're only doing 5, 10, 15 hours, where is the rest going to? Well, the remainder are activities that should be things that the interest the students are interested in and are not forced okay, to do, that they're passionate about, the things that they want to do. And here, you know, with us, College of Mississippi, we truly believe and strongly believe that nothing that you have to do on your activities should be for it just to look good for college. Okay. You shouldn't be doing it just because you're guessing what the readers want to see. But really, what it should be is to all the parents that are that are out there and that say that their child needs, like, say, a summer, a summer program, we disagree. To all the parents that say their child needs an internship, we disagree. To all the parents that say that their child needs a research program, we disagree. But that being said, can and can you do these things? Of course you can. We're not, we are not saying that you can't do them. But what we're saying is these activities, um, are they should be driven by the student's interests. So if they're doing an internship and it's something that they really enjoy doing, awesome, great, wonderful. If they think about, if I could not put this activity on my college application, would I still want to do it? And that is the criteria for doing an activity, okay? But let me ask you this. Do you guys want to know a secret? Okay, do you guys want to know a secret? And I'm going to do the reaction. Give me a thumbs up for a reaction. Sometimes, Coach, uh, give me a reaction. Yes, all right, good. I see them. Here we go. When it comes to admissions, it is not what you do that is important, but it is why you do it. And I know that you probably heard, for those who are, uh, are um, uh, people who have seen us before, we always talk about the whys versus the whats. Before we jump into aligning activities with intended majors, I want to go ahead and introduce personal projects. Okay, personal projects. And this is an amazing thing that a lot of universities are really looking into right now. Coach Tony, are you taking this? Or am I taking this? I, I, I can go ahead and jump in for this. Okay, sir. there you go. Oh, there personal you go. projects, right? You guys are like, what's a personal project? You guys probably heard of the words passion project, right? Yes, that's probably mm -hmm. the more commonly uh, uh, acceptable term that you guys see a lot. Again, most students have no clue what they're passionate about. That's why we're like, that's kind of a bad term to use because most students don't even know what they're passionate about also. However, there is everything that a student is personal. So we define personal project is a student initiated, student run and student directed endeavor that explores a level, an area of personal interest, develops new skills, achieves specific goals and impacts their community. So for those who have been again, following us for a while, you guys know this past month, we are kind of wrapping up our first ever personal project incubator, a group of students actually work with me directly to kind of basically start and build and launch their personal projects this past month. I think we have our last uh, last weeks of calls tonight as well too. So I'm super, super excited to chat with them later after this call. But uh, here are some of the projects, right? Like, what, what can these ideas be? Here are kind of some of the things. I pulled a few of the projects that our students actually worked on uh, with me this upcoming month. So one of their students is actually creating an online platform to help animal shelters get pets adopted. Did you know that actually there's not a lot of platforms like this already that exist? Now, now another one of our students is working on educational portals, teaching others about math, science, physics, et cetera, as well, too. What's special with them? They're kind of breaking it down for younger students. There's a lot of training for, uh, for older people, college students lend up, not a lot for the younger crowd. So they're doing that there. We actually have one student doing uh, creating a, a NICU, a neonatal intensive care unit community forum. That doesn't exist currently right now. We're creating, a, a student creating is working on a national level to create a recycling campaign with used tennis balls. Actually pretty cool. They have like several thousand balls already done. Uh, so far last month as well. Uh, we have a student focusing on environmental conservation and working with the local city and parks to actually organize lo uh, the local cleanups. We have a student that actually started a crochet community with the goal of donating hundreds of hats to homeless shelters by this Christmas. We even have a student who's creating a debate mobile app with resources and an air to get feedback from mentors as well. In less than a month, we were able to help our students start and launch these projects in record time with guided support and feedback. But why, right? Why are these 
personal projects. These are not random things our students did to look good for college. Again, we don't like that. We don't do that, right? However, right, there is a personal connection. Our student who's creating that NICU community, they were a NICU baby themselves. They shared when we were talking about what, what do we want to work together about, this student told me how their family had a really hard time navigating that process. They were constantly stressed and nervous and like anxious because they didn't know who to go out to. There was not a lot of resources for them. So this student is taking their own kind of advocacy and building more of this for others kind of like that have affected their life as well too. So when you have a student that does stuff just to look good, right? Like, oh, I'm building this because it, it sounds cool versus students who live through these things and it affected them personally between these two students, which do you think will switch to have, will have a stronger story? will be able to stand out more in the admissions process. That's why the personal aspect is so important. And going back to Coach Art, the why, the why is so important to all this as well. And again, Coach R is uh, the master of giving stuff away. He wants to throw in two more freebies for you guys today. 100 personal mm -hmm. project ideas and project guide. If it's okay, go ahead and drop the word project in the chat if that's okay with you guys to, to get these two little goodies as well too. Uh, one can give you a bunch of ideas to get started. The other one actually tells you step-by-step -step how to actually go about creating the personal projects that people like this. People like the personal project. I like it. All right, Coach Art. Oh my gosh, amazing. Go uh, ahead, amazing. Go ahead, I always sir. read this thing every time. So thank you so much, Coach Tony. So aligning activities with intended majors. Now, one thing that I will say about that is, yes, while we encourage our students to follow their interests, Sometimes students may need a nudge on what activities are typically seen on top college applications. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that your, your activities have to be specifically aligned with your major. That doesn't necessarily have to be the case. So let's talk about it. At CAS, we have found that there are truly only three common pathways when it comes to your major and demonstrated area of career interest. Like I said, uh, if it's if it happens that their interests are um, and their the activities are in line with what they want to do in their future. Awesome. Great. The first pathway would be engineering and computer science. Um, they're very, uh, you know, math and uh, science intensive. So what we're talking here is the next one is pathways. Number two, which is STEM and business. Okay. Uh, science, engineering, math, and business. Now, the last one is everybody else, everything else that doesn't fall in line with pathway number two or three or one or two. So while there's nothing again that you have to really do, as I mentioned, there's nothing you have to do to be specifically in line with your major. There are some things that we have compiled for a list of, let's say, um, recent alumni that we have worked with in these particular fields. Um, and so we're gonna, I'm gonna read them right now. So pathway number one, uh, engineering computer science, we have, let's say, robotics. That's a pretty obvious one, okay? Um, creating a CS or engineering project, maybe a personal project um, where you're, let's say, doing some type of maybe programming, making an application, talking about an internship where you do a skills-based internship with respect to engineering computer science, clubs that show interest like math, tech, et cetera, or doing a research project, okay? I know one of my students, he wanted to be computer science. And what he did was, is he created an application that tracked baseball statistics because he was so crazy about baseball, but he wanted to see trends. And it wasn't necessarily the result of what he got, but it was the, it was the effort that he went through to gather all this, uh, the, the stuff that he went through in a sense of the struggles he had to go through, the type of application, and to be able to explain that. So... Amazing stuff there. Now, number two, STEM and business. Well, of course, we talk, can talk about joining business clubs, okay? DECA or FBLA. Of course, another thing is business internships, uh, which does sometimes take a while to find, but still, you they're definitely out there. Um, camps related to those areas of interest. Uh, leadership, uh, showing leadership within business. Again, even show, uh, what one of those things could be is actually uh, starting up your own business or doing research, okay? There are so many avenues to do uh, business type of activities, as I mentioned, starting up your own business. 
Uh, Coach Tony even talked about that in some of their personal projects. Um, one of the one of the ones that I know a student was doing is he loved tennis so much that he started up a tennis stringing uh, business. Okay, I didn't know how sophisticated tennis stringing was, but it's it's quite an art. Uh, literally, no pun intended. It's quite an art to do, and so um, he got a lot of business just because there were so many people that needed it, and he did it for a lower price, and he started out his own business, and now is very successful in that. And then, of course, the third one, and this could be, is focus on any area of interest, any camps, any clubs. I know that seems generic, but the thing is that it really depends upon what are they true, what do they truly want to do with respect to the the interests, the the goals. Uh, the passions, anything that they, when they wake up in the morning, they say, man, I really love to do this, regardless of whether I'm going to show it on my application or not. So I'm wondering, did that spark some ideas on what your students should be doing? Okay, I hope it did. So with that said, we have, okay, certain pathways. Okay, this is another giveaway. And I'm going to say Coach Tony is crazy about giveaways. Well, guess what? <laughs> We're going to give you... The pathways, these are some explicit pathways, um, different types of pathways that we talked about. If you want to go ahead and get this freebie, please type pathway in into the chat, okay? Um, and we'll give those out for you as well. So it's it's really exciting. So I'm going to pass it over to Coach Tony. All right, all right. Then pathway is flowing right now. Woo! Love it. Really quick, can anybody drop the hearts real fast? I think Coach Art loves the reactions. I do. Um, I love the maybe, reactions. Maybe drop, drop them and make, make Art feel a little good. Thank you. Well. Thank you. There I you love go. that. There's the heart. There's oh my gosh, the they're flowing. There's they're flowing. The hearts. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my all right. gosh. <laughs> Let's kind of wrap it up now with the college, right? So we kind of know again the simple answer is do what you, your kid loves to do and get mm -hmm. idea of it to turn it to kind of level it up with the personal projects we kind of gave you some more sample more i would call it the more traditional things that mm -hmm. we see a lot of our students do the, and the list that coach Archer shared the pathway docs for those who are going to yes. go ahead and drop pathways in the chat um those are kind of things that we compiled so we had all of our alumni who've gone to top schools the top ucs the ivies and we mm -hmm. kind of just pulled their things apart and kind of compiled a lot of the things we saw in common so if a few kids did fbla we put that on the list so that's kind of how mm -hmm. that is for you now let's wrap it up let's talk about because now that you did the stuff how do we kind of share it for the colleges themselves so we're calling this the ensuring college admission success so first off what do readers see right so it's for again this is a fun part where yes. i could jump in I'm like here's what i here's what you guys did here's what i see and here's how i see everything on the back end you can put your activities literally there's an activity section on the uc and also also all the other college apps but specifically for the UC apps, there's 20 activity slots under six different categories. These are the six different categories that you can put your activities under, awards or, honor, awards or honors, educational prep programs, other coursework, extracurricular activities, volunteering community service, or work experience, right? Mm -hmm. All your things that your child will do will fit under one of these six categories right over here. And then under each, each kind of category, there are certain questions that they ask. So for example, if you look at awards or honor, they ask you for the name of the award, the level, the type, the eligibility, what you do, extra curious, they ask, what did you do? You can see they always ask for hours per week, by the way. People are like, that's a really cool chart. If you guys want this chart as well, as a, <laughs> we call another it another one. Tracker. The, another one, Coach Art. <laughs> okay, We're going okay. great. Like I mentioned, this this call, we hold nothing back. So we have a tracker. Awesome. This is perfect, by the way, for ninth graders, 10th graders, 11th graders. Absolutely. Seniors, also, as you're starting up you your, your college apps as well, too. Right? You can mm -hmm. put all your activities in here. So, again, seniors, you can put on here and start kind of crafting it. For That's younger funny. students, right? This is really good because you can keep track of it and keep track of it as you go. So mm -hmm. again, one of the things, especially seniors, right? if you haven't done it, you have to think back all four years, like, what did I do? Versus if you just keep this tracker live, mm -hmm. like update it every few months, you'll have it up to date by mm -hmm. the time you apply to colleges here. Like I mentioned, though, put, drop, throw, there you go. People like trackers as well, too. All right. The thing about the tracker that we, you can see these little big things, we call it the blurbs. It's a fun, it's a fun word to say. If you guys are yep. sad to say the word blurb like five times, and kind of, it makes you look like <laughs> again, right? So the blurbs are basically the written descriptions of each one. This is the most important part of the activities section. So here are a few tips for you. Number one, the blurbs should only focus on the experience within the activities, AKA 
What was the student's role? What was their responsibility? What was the impact of that on them? Readers care about the content, not the formatting, meaning you don't have to write in full sentences for this section. You also don't have enough words. There's 350 <laughs> characters. So if you write in full, full sentences, you're going to eat up a lot of extra characters that you don't have. So again, content is way more important than the formatting itself. And context is key. Without mm -hmm. context, we don't know. Hey, I want to race. That's cool, right? Ooh. I want to race in front of 10,000 people. Whoa. That's right. That's cool. So the context of everything is really, really big there. Is it okay again if I give you some examples? You drop a yes. Yes, yes. If I can share some examples of this with you, kind of show you guys. Good, I love this bad, part. Maybe not so good. All right. People dropping the <laughs> reaction for Coach Art also in the chat. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Here's the first one, right? This one, uh, the category was educational prep programs. The name is Destination College Advising Core. The year, they wrote what grade did it? 12th grade. How many hours per week? How many weeks per year? One hour a week, 32 weeks a year. This student wrote their description as the blurb, right? The blurb is DCAC works to increase the opportunities and resources provided to first generation, low income and underrepresented students who enter and complete college. They help students apply to colleges of financial aid and also take us on college tours. Right, as a I'm gonna put I'm gonna have everyone pretend you're a reader right now, put your reader cap on. Is this a good one? Is this a good blurb that to and then the question I want to have you guys ask yourself is did you learn anything about the student with this description? Mm -hmm. Right? Did you That's learn anything about the student mm -hmm. with this description? Man. Got some yeses, some no's, lots of no's. You guys are mean. You guys are definitely mean to the student, right? <laughs> but it's true though. I don't learn too much, right? Here's a few kind of no goods. No, 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 the, the one I call it the 1% improvements, right? It talked about DCAC. Again, DCAC Correct. is not applying to college. You are, right? So mm -hmm. don't talk about DCAC. Talk about yourself. One thing this student did do really well, right? You see, I see how they use DCAC as the acronym. So when it comes to the college apps, you cannot assume readers know all the acronyms. However, this student spelled it out once. Once you spell it out once, you can use the acronym after that. Then it makes sense. But if they wrote DCAC at the name end down there, I'd be lost because I don't know what it is also, right? Second example, like a little, 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 little spoilers for you guys, right? It looks very similar, right? It, it should be, right? Educational prep program, destination call, advising core, 12th grade, one hour a week, 32 weeks a year. This student's blurb, DCAC helps motivate high school students get a jump start on their college plans. It helped me know exactly what I had to do to get ready for college. Help me prepare for the college application process. Help me find scholarships, understand what FAFSA is and how it could help me. And it taught me that I don't know everything. It's okay to ask for help. Whew. Right. With Love this it. one, with this one, same <laughs> question. Does, as a reader, does this give you more information about the student? Do you learn more about the student with this one? I, I like it, right? This one is better. Right? Absolutely. Like and again, is this the best? No. <laughs> so, you know, still did not give me too much about them. Again, uh -huh. still has a little bit about DCAC, which I don't really care about. You can mm -hmm. get, you can scrap the first sentence, right? We can jump straight to sentence number two. That's right. Um, but what I what we did like about this more about the student, right? Which is really really mm -hmm. good there. One thing I would have a one percent for this student, quantity, right? How yep. do you quantify the stuff that you did? Put more metrics and numbers is there as well too, right? I think that's gonna be a super tip mm -hmm. there, right? Number three, right? Fun fact: this student actually uh, was one of our coaching students. This student did end up going to one of the top UCs as well too. Category: awards, honors, a, a name. 4X Amy qualifier, level national type academic years, all four years in high school. What is the eligibility, right? Because awards were actually both these questions, right? 3,000 students from a total pool of 300,000 students nationally qualify for the American Invitational Math Exam, Amy, through the American Math Competition, AMC 10, and American Math Competition, AMC 12 scores. What did this student do? I took the AMC 10 exam in ninth and 10th grade and AMC 12 in 11th and 12th grade. Scored above the cutoff all four times and qualified for Amy. Spent six hours per week since eighth grade studying for Amy uh, for AMC for 30 plus weeks a year. This student did well because one of our coaching students, right? <laughs> but well, the, 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 the thing that we you can see here, a lot of metrics, a lot of numbers. Again, this student spelled out, oh, what's Amy? Let's say I don't know. It's a pretty common thing, but let's say I don't yes. know. They do spell it out. 
at least once, right? Then they use the acronyms after that, which is fair game after that as well too. You can see, what did you do? I learned about context from the student. This student kind of maximized their points, their, 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 their character count. There's, a, there's characters on each of these as well too. They're maxing this out there. That's a good one. Another example for you guys, right? This one, uh, another student. Right. Also, end up a top top school as well too. Uh, so this is extra curricular activities. They did a martial arts. So the school name. I don't want to put the school's name here, but school's name. Taekwondo Academy. Cookie One affiliation. Years. All four years. Six hours a week. Forty weeks per year. What did student do? Attended three weekly classes since 2010. One of most advanced students. Helped instructors teach other students as a junior leader. Participate in led demonstrations. Organize events like belt testing, bike rides, and field trips. Serve as assistant belt testing corner. Help instructors run and grade the belt testing. Right, again, mm -hmm. really good. You see the structure, capital, like verb, stuff, period. Verb, stuff, period. That's kind of the structure that's really, really good there. How can we make it a little better? Give more context, right? How many students did this student, how many students did they work with, right, as well? Because again, I was, I was an instructor of two kids versus I, I taught a class of 25 students solo. Yeah, so different context numbers can show big context mm -hmm. there. Where else can you share your activities? is in your personal insight, AKA the essay part of the question, right? 450 words max uh, for each prompt. You pick four prompts out of the eight options that you have here. Um, here's a sample, right? Here's a sample of a, a PIQ that one of our students, another one of our students use, they're heading off to Berkeley this upcoming fall as well too. Boom. You guys can read through it. Uh, it's a lot of words. So I'm gonna skip it real fast as well. <laughs> Really quickly, like get quick skim, right? They talked about their play foundation, which is a nonprofit they did. Uh, really good line right here. As I lived in instability, the community was my savior. Wow, very powerful there, right? Tons of other words. Again, uh, this is actually not the final draft either, by the way. So for those who are looking at this, like this is good. No, this wasn't the final. This is like the halfway draft. This is mm -hmm. the halfway draft of this doing. Right. Because again, if you read it, there's a lot of things that could have been fixed as well, which it did get fixed at, by the end of it. But you could then the students talking about a specific activity that they did. So 1% improvements, right? Personalize every so for seniors, this is what listen up. Personalize every single statement. If you go back to their their prompt, right? There's lines in here. Um they're here. Amidst the pandemic, many activities that nonprofit hosted fell to the side. What does that sentence tell me about the student? Nothing. So that's a useless statement from a reader's point of view. Mm -hmm. You want every single sentence to talk about the student. Personalize every statement. Number two, focus on the impact, then the activity itself. When you read that draft, that's kind of one of the, the tweaks we have for the student. You focus too much on the activity. We don't care about the activity. We care about you and the impact of the activity on you. That's the big thing there. And another thing is a white space, meaning having spacing uh, to do, again, it's not an essay. So you don't have to do like one paragraph, two paragraphs, as much as it needs to have the nice clear white space to the whole prompt itself there. One thing we did a few few months back, Coach R said, Coach Clay, can we throw that in as well too? We actually did a breakdown of two mm -hmm. PIQs from a rough draft to a That's final right. draft. And we give give the feedback as well too. You guys want that draft PIQ. I forgot to edit it. PIQ in the chat. <laughs> if you guys want this, PIQ, it's two case studies um, of the student's first draft and the final draft that actually got the kids into the top. Yeah. Draft. That was one of our most popular ones. It was Coach definitely Tony. one of our most popular. Absolutely. I, I just did it and then... Uh, Yes, the, absolutely. Uh, Coach, Coach Arm bent my arm back. He's like, Coach Tony, you got to throw it in. You got, you got to throw it in or else <laughs> I these people be mad. That's right. That's and right. Mad. <laughs> awesome. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, big announcement. Is that me also? That's me also. also too. I, yeah, that's you. I think, yeah, that's right. That's Let's right. go and do it. Okay. So big announcement end. So again, we are going to do Q&A. Again, we'll try to wrap this up in the next five minutes so we can jump into Q&A. If you guys have questions, start dropping it in the Q&A box. Yes, you guys know this. Probably don't do it in chat. A chat flows like crazy. So drop your questions in the Q&A. Coach Art and I will stick around till uh, the top of the hour just to answer as much as we do. We do have both. We both do can. have calls um, mm -hmm. on the hour as well, too. So we can't say anything extra there. But start dropping your questions in the chat there. However, right, I do want to say thank you for everyone. Thank you for making us literally the largest UC admissions Facebook group currently out there uh in the world right <laughs> number one thank you for joining our replays and our calls live we have over 200 260 people here live as oh my well. god so thank you thank you and for joining us as well too thank you for families who are our coaching families right? our coaching students our coaching parents in our program and congrats to all our alumni families who have had 
tons of it, and their kids are heading off to amazing schools as well, too, is because of you that we have been able to continue to grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And we've been able to bring on new coaches to our team. Some of our coaching families have seen some of our new coaches around, too. We brought in Coach Clara a few months ago. She's our new personal projects kind of coordinator as well, too. She actually graduated from Berkeley. She graduated from Harvard. She's actually a Harvard professor. And she also builds curriculum for UCLA right now as well, too. We brought on Coach Michelle. She's incredible. We noticed we have a lot of engineers <laughs> in our program. So she's engineering. Also, MIT. I don't know how much higher you can get when it comes to tech schools than MIT. She's also one of, for some of our seniors who are doing edits, right? She's actually one of our top writers and editors as well, too. So she, you'll be seeing some of her helping you edit your prompts as well. A lot of her students ended up at the Ivy. So her eyesight stuff is phenomenal as well, too. We were able to bring on the CFO, right? I, we, I got to put my, my big boy pants on. We got to bring on a CFO, a chief financial officer in our company, and... I already got in trouble. <laughs> I already got in trouble with our new CFO. Uh, apparently, I was told that our programs are very underpriced. Uh, we literally give away too much away for our family. So the CFO gave us two options. Option one, give less away. And me and Coach Ari had that look look back at them and said, mm -hmm. no, <laughs> no, we're not going to take things away. So the <laughs> other options, we have to raise the rates as well, too. So. Here's the official announcement starting September 1st, which means 30 day countdown is beginning. We are going to have to raise the rates of our coaching programs by a thousand uh, for some of them, a little bit more for the other programs as well, too. On the bright side, we don't actually, we actually plan to do this later next year. We're just doing a little a few months earlier as well, too. So we don't have to raise our prices again for a little while. But for everyone and for existing families, this is your 30-day count to get started at our existing rates. So if you're thinking about getting started, here is your official invitation. And Coach Art's going to go ahead and share what our program looks like. Ooh, okay, I love this part. So if you're thinking about getting started with us, here's your official invitation. Um, and what our coaching program is all about is first of all, we give college and career support, academic activities, application, and unlimited support uh, throughout the whole entire program. And that's the key thing, academics, activities, and application. Uh, for college and career, we look at uh, uh, selecting the proper college for your student, the type of career that that can go into, uh, your selection of your majors and the strategy for that with respect to academics activities, as well as possibly community college or gap year guidance if that if that fits your student. We also look at the specific about academics. What are the class strategies and selections according to your major? What type of dual enrollment we call community college classes that you take? What kind of outside courses would be preferable that would uh, really propel and project um, their college application to be very successful. Strategies on improving grades. And also we provide uh, test prep through Magoosh, which is an amazing third-party um, partner of ours that provides SAT and ACT prep. Activities-wise, you just saw this. We do activity strategies and we uh, help you select. We uh, go through personal projects. One of the things that Coach um, Tony talked about is our personal project incubator that helps students go through and really form and go through and execute on our personal project. And we also support internships, research, and program apps, to, uh, program applications, just to try to get you into internship research or programs and help you uh, try to find them as well. Now, from an application standpoint, we have unlimited application for it. doesn't matter how many how many applications that you're, you're filing. I think our record was 37 applications for one student. Highly recommend you don't do that. But again, it's one of those things where it's unlimited. Uh, we have what's called an amazing uh, CAI or college application intensive. It's a live event that we host Saturdays and Sundays um, for seniors so that our goal is to have them uh, complete their application or at least the majority of it by the time they finish uh, on that weekend. Uh, we do essay brainstorming and unlimited edits and revisions back and forth until it's perfect. Uh, we also have a final send-off call, and I believe that no other organization does this, a final send-off call where we actually review the actual application online to make sure that everything was transferred correctly and answered correctly. We support all of the supplemental applications and even interviews and prep our students with interviews. And we also uh, establish early internal deadlines to make sure that they're submitting their applications on time. We have unlimited support with respect to our, our program is when you start till they graduate, 
it is a lifetime access, okay? W lifetime access to all of the things that you saw, one fee. Uh, customized and personal roadmap calls uh, to make sure that your student knows exactly what they're gonna do and it's personalized to your student. Monthly check-in calls, uh, weekly update forms. We do daily coaching, uh, our office hours and our chat support. We have 24 hour response time, 24 seven with an AI support bot as well as um, when we're on as well. Uh, checking on those particular um, support on our chat lines. And we also support scholarships, meaning scholarship support, searching and applying for those particular scholarships. So you get all of this entire list. It's a lot. It's amazing. It's incredible. Like you said, our CFO says, man, uh, Coach Tony, Coach R, you guys are just giving too much away. And we're like, no, we want to. That is our sole focus is to make sure that your students are successful. So how much? What are we saying? Yes, we don't have a la carte pricing. We definitely don't do that. We don't nickel and dime you. We don't charge you by the hour. We don't charge you year by year. We also, okay, all of those are really, really silly to us because why? Then you're going to feel like you're limited. So our CFO thinks we're crazy. <laughs> and so, but how do we ensure the success of you, uh, your child and your family, of course? It is truly unlimited and comprehensive support without any restrictions, okay? Without any restrictions, you get it all. And so our programs start, um, they start at 3,500. They go up uh, total for, our for the entirety of the whole your whole high school career all the way till you graduate high school. It doesn't matter whether you start in 9th, 10th, 11th. Um, it's one price, okay? So here is your official invitation, and this is how you take the next step. Book a free, and I say that free, one-on-one -on -one college admissions assessment. You're going to go ahead and connect with one of our college admissions advisors, Coach Stephanie, Coach Two, Coach Victor, incredible individuals who know so much a lot. They're going to just step you through and give you like almost like a mini roadmap to say, hey, here's what we would advise you to do. Um, and then from there, on this call, we're going to ask a couple of questions. We're going to learn more about you and we're going to give recommendations. But this is not a sales call. This is only 15 minutes. You cannot buy anything, nor will our team sell you anything on this call. We are just giving you information that's personalized to your student. At the end of this call, our team's going to ask, how do you want to move forward? Option number one, it's not a perfect fit. That's okay. We At least we've given you, given you the recommendations. We're still friends. You guys can go and you can execute on the recommendations that we've given you. Number two is you're ready to be, you're ready to uh, take that next success story. You want to move forward. So our team will now set up another call to review our coaching program for your family. Okay. That could, that would fit your family. So if you want to book um, your one on one college admissions assessment because you feel like you want your students to be, your child to be successful, they need some hand holding. Uh, you need, <laughs> parents need some hand holding. Please text. <laughs> 15, the number's 15 to 415 938 8721. If you want all of the freebies, and Coach Tony, I think we went crazy on this one. If you we want all of crazy. the freebies, okay. We're giving you the recap, quick recap. We're giving you the 100 list of 100 mm -hmm. uh, activities, right? That's Interest. Right. We're giving you the personal project ideas. That's another right. 100 list here. Personal planning guide. The right. pathways, pathway one, pathway two, mm -hmm. pathway three. I also, we also slipped in there a general pathway for all the. That's pathways. right. We gave you guys a tracker to track your mm -hmm. activities and the actual PIQs that landed our students into multiple UCs. That's and right. Labor. He's actually gone to a lot of other private schools as well. That's too, right. Those are the big ones. So this is really important. Text freebie to 415-938-8721. That is the fastest way to get all of our freebies. Again, we're not hurt if you if if uh, if you just want the freebies, that's okay. But if you want that, you know, that 15 minute free. Uh, assessment 415-938-8721 okay text us 1515 okay or text us freebie to 415-938-8721 so with that said uh tony are we opening up for for questions now I'll open up in Kyoto really really quick i i see a chat a, a comment in the chat if you see zora uh, yes uh, it's a really really cool comment signing up my child with this program is one of the best decisions they are amazing. You are Woo. amazing, Zora. Nice. Zora, thank Goosebumps you so much. We really appreciate that. Woo. Okay, let's go right. through this real quickly here. Let's, let's run, uh, let's run through, let's run okay. 
how do readers know the activities and content are real? How do we prove they are real? I go. You want to answer that one, Coach? I Tony? answer it as well too. You sign it so that the the technical answer is you sign an integrity agreement, that's right? Saying right. that everything you do is accurate. Can you lie? However, sure. That just means your child doesn't have integrity. It's pretty much it, right? Mm -hmm. But can they check? They do. I my friends actually did this job. It's a random audit. Statistically, you probably won't get audit. So the truth is, statistically, you probably won't get. It's very improbable that you'll get it but it does right. happen if readers do want to like hey this kind of fishy they can recommend mm -hmm. the app to get a little audited as well too uh, but realistically though no the answer is you're you're going goodwill hey i this is mm -hmm. me in a nutshell uh is it too late to add active add or do activities for a 2025 grad how can cast help i can answer that one okay, go ahead sir now yes it's very tight right now but the one thing you can do, and we talked about this specifically, is a personal project. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is personal projects are really fast to stand up. They're student-initiated, student-run. You can do those very, very quickly and make an impact if they're really investing a lot of time, okay? A lot of time, commitment, um, and showing leadership in that. So that's a, that's one quick way. Um, also, if you if you can, you can augment what you're doing today, okay, your activities today. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can take on a leadership role because you're starting the season, you're starting your your um your senior year. And maybe you take on either a leadership position, a leadership role, or you're getting really active with the activity. So that's one thing. Anything else on that? Or is that is that pretty good? I that's that's pretty awesome. Coach. Okay. Uh let's see here. Uh gosh, they're they're, they're coming in fast. They're coming I in hot. I, I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm speed run a few of them. So okay, one, good. do you support BSMD admissions? We do. We actually have a specialist coach for those of our mm -hmm. program. You guys know her, uh, Coach Sonia. She's actually uh, a graduate herself of BSMD program. So she's been mm -hmm. helping some of our students actually go through this process um as well too so the answer is yes is this only for ucs or all colleges we help with all colleges again you may mm -hmm. have missed the first beginning our success stories is not you we become known as the uc people because again we have the largest uc group in all facebook but we also have an ivy league admission seekers facebook group because we do do all admissions our kids actually go everywhere not just uh ucs but top private schools we have a kid uh, we have kids going to stanford this year we have kids going to usc this year we have kids going to the ivy this year uh caltech this upcoming year mm -hmm. tons and tons of awesome schools as well there let's see here the pathway stem is that coach art talked about what majors are they for the stem and business again where would you normally again business is a route so you you're talking about finance uh accounting or stem all of them it's, it's <laughs> science technology um or uh engineering or, or or math right so you can talk about math specifically math majors biology chemistry uh, physics, um, those are all different types, okay? Uh, let's see, what activities would you recommend for someone who's interested in medicine but doesn't really know where to start? As I mentioned, you don't necessarily have to be, your activities don't necessarily have to be in line with your major. Correct. What the key thing is, you want to make sure that the interest that they're, and I say the word passionate, but that they have such a high interest of it that they can show commitment leadership. But um, one of the things that I'll give you one example. So I had a student that was um, that was um, so interested uh, in going into pre med or prep medicine, and uh, he was he was volunteering at a at a nursing home, and so uh, he also likes sports medicine. So what we thought was, why don't you? Uh, a lot of key things at a nursing home is a lot is about mobility issues where this where the they couldn't they they can't really move well. So what he did is he took his passion about fitness and he created a mobility program, okay, for the people at the nursing home. Very simple things, you know, passing a ball back and forth, maybe doing a, a you know an easy an easy type of of activity that just allows them to move around. Well, now he's able to say he created a mobility program and curriculum for a nursing home so that they can increase mobility. How amazing is that? And that's a, his personal project. And that's something he stood up within a matter of weeks. Okay, so that was easy to do. Uh, any other questions that we have here? Uh, a, few, a few more quick Tony. ones. Would you have workshops for the PAQ in the fall? We actually all sold out. We actually, Oof. no one, no one believes us, Coach, uh, Coach Art. Every single year, we say, I hey, know. sign up, sign up, sign up. 
People like, I'll wait, I'll wait. I was like, all right. We are completely sold out this weekend. Coach I, 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 Coach Art and I will be at UC Irvine next That's weekend right. here at San, Di U San Diego. San Diego. University of San Diego. Week after that, we're going to be at Long Beach. Week after That's that, right. we're at UCLA. Week That's after right. that, we're going to San Diego State. So we're, we're going to back to back to back to back. So it's we're crazy. Gonna sold out. It's crazy. Uh, you guys will, yes, and have FOMO. We'll take we'll post pictures in the UC groups. So you guys can kind of join virtually in that capacity. Okay. As well and last one, where can we access the resources? Again, right here on the screen, if you guys want to go ahead and text mm -hmm. our team, freebie to 415-938-8721. Again, encourage you guys, if you haven't redeemed your 15-minute free call yet, definitely book text 15 to 415 938 Eight seven two one same number by the way same number I right, just text fifteen mm -hmm. te freebie fifteen for the fifteen minute assessment be for all the freebies itself absolutely if we didn't get a chance to uh to answer ask, answer your questions you can text the question the question to our team as well too they'll forward it yes to people and please do as well too right? absolutely one last quick one uh they talk about the how does uh, how does the program work and counselor and stuff we encourage everyone book a call first book a 15 minute session first see if right. we can help you first sometimes we actually know that we can't like, hey we, we probably can't help you guys out we let right. you guys know right away in the call but if we can we'll say hey let's talk about it and we'll show you guys everything uh for those who know our sales process is not really salesy at all it's like hey you, you want to do it yes no maybe so and then if all is good <laughs> we can work together help you guys win big that's right. Coach Art, you want to close us off for today, sir? You know what? We thank you so much. You know, um, I, we say this every week. You guys can do anything in the evening. We know you guys are so booked and, and busy at work or busy at school or doing classes or doing activities, but you choose to join us here. And so we are so honored and privileged to have you join us. And we thank you so much um, for, and hopefully you found this time, um, uh, you know, informative informational uh, because we love to give out free information it's out there but we love to help people as well so please take the time if you want some help let us know text us um, take advantage of our freebies we're here every tuesday every single tuesday we're here uh dishing out all this information so please join us every tuesday uh, tell your friends uh, let them know that we're just uh putting out there really uh, useful information. So thank you so much, uh, sincerely. And uh, we say it for, 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 for me and Coach Tony, we really appreciate you guys. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. All right, have a good See night. ya. See you guys bye -bye. next week.